Tonight, a Botticai County Public School employee is out of jail after being arrested and charged for allegedly requesting inappropriate pictures from a student. Deputies say that man, Paul Wakeman, was a teacher at James River High School. And that's where 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett joins us live tonight. So, Lindsay, what can you tell us about the investigation and what parents in the area have to say about these charges? I talked with some parents here in Botetourt County who say now they're afraid for their families and their very own children. It sickened me when I found out about it. Faith McGrath disturbed and scared to hear that an employee at her alma mater is accused of asking students for inappropriate photos. I got cousins and nieces that are in those schools right now. I always thought we were in a safe county until that. According to court documents, a James River High School student told deputies that Wakeman, a teacher at the school, specifically asked for images of that student shirtless and wearing only underwear. That's when investigators say they found out the 29 year old teacher had made similar requests to numerous students over the past two years through text messages, phone calls and social media. Deputies submitted warrants to search Wakeman's house, cell phone, Snapchat and other social media, but his Instagram and Facebook accounts had been deleted. I think it's completely inappropriate and wrong. Wakeman was arrested earlier this month. He's facing three counts of contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Faith and her husband Thomas have two daughters. One is six and the other is just two. I'm now afraid to send my kids to school because it's not the first incident with teachers and I have two young daughters, so I'm just petrified that that's going to happen to them one day. I believe he should get fired in jail time because he was there to keep them children safe and he was not keeping them safe. Court documents show that Wakeman has not worked in the school district since January. I reached out to the school district and Wakeman, but both phone calls and emails for a comment were not returned. Wakeman is due back in court on March 19th. Live in Botetourt County, I'm Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you.